Hi there, welcome to my studio. I'm Kirsten Jones and I'm an artist in Henley-on-Thames and I'm taking part for the first time in the Chelsea Fringe which is uh, it's a festival all about celebrating the garden basically which is just great and um, everybody's doing poetry or creating art or doing tours of their garden and that kind of thing. It's obviously virtual this year. And as part of the project that I want to do, um, I'm going to be creating an artwork called Garden Shoes. And I want to just, I thought I'd just take you through the process, explain um, a bit about the idea and then show you the process as it happens. So these are my preferred garden footwear. Uh, very impractical, but very silver and very sparkly. And the idea is I really want to sort of use these as a starting point and make a new piece which will be the next in my series of, of shoe artworks. So a bit of context about the pieces that I've done so far. Um, this is one of my Prince um, Saffron shoes and the idea about this piece was really that the inside was as glamorous as the outside with the bright colours and text in the background I'm going to use a similar idea to this, um, whereby you sort of almost see through the shoes, through to the background, and the, the story is told through the text and the collage fragments. So there's a bit of a narrative happening there. So that's one of the pieces I'm referencing. The next piece is Irish shoes, and again, a very similar theme, only this time with the addition of butterflies. The, the, the Irish context is explained in the recipes and the stamps. Um, so it's almost, this is much more of a sort of cultural uh, point where the actual place is relevant. So for me, the place that I'm going to be referencing is going to be my own, my own garden. And another couple of things to mention at this point, because I don't really know what it's going to look like yet, is that I know that there will be a butterfly in there somewhere. Um, it's in my head. I've got a vague picture of what I, what I might make at the moment. And also the piece that's just behind me, and uh, this is a fragment of it, um, is, a, is a greeting card. And the idea that the, the text within the flowers and growing up and these, these, these vines, these, these sort of yellow, bright green, um, growing or hanging either vines uh, that, that within the, the secret garden and the idea of there being a secret in the piece somewhere. Don't know what it's going to be yet, but um, we'll work that out when we get there. Um, and another thing that I'm going to be referencing is a sketch that I did quite some time ago, which was a piece for a friend. Um, it was a portrait of, of her, really. She wore flip-flops in the same way, and, 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 and the background text was all about, about her interests and her life. So I often do portraits in shoes, and the, the person will send me a pair of their shoes, I'll meet with them, we talk about the shoes and the places and the actual piece tells the story of where the shoes might have been worn. This piece was for somebody called Julia and um, it's going to have a, elements of this. I like the idea of the jewels around the flip-flops themselves and the way that the flip-flops kind of meld into the background, the idea that the shoes might blend into the, the greenery of, of my garden. And talking of green, this is going to be a big thing. <laughs> green is everything to me at the moment. Um, and this piece is a little, a couple of little paintings that I did of the fritillaries. Fritillaries are really wild, and um, they are just beautiful. And I always use the uh, inside of envelopes. It's something that I've always done. The idea that there being a secret inside the bud, and um, you only really see the full story when the flower opens. Um, and so the, the idea of the secret being inside a letter or an envelope is, is sort of uh, somewhere to begin. And then finally I've got some text, I've got some music score and I've got some text about the garden that I'd quite like to include as well. So that's kind of where we're at at the minute. Um, I don't quite know where it's going to go yet because I need to go and do some research and have a look and do some drawing. So I'm going to head into the garden, why don't you join me and we can take a look. Welcome to the garden and I'm just going to do a very quick tour, won't take long, um, of the collection of plants that I've got and how I imagine they might fit into the piece that I'm going to do. So this is the first piece which is a maple, Japanese maple, which I bought um, probably about three years ago and when I bought it it was 
this big and look how big it is, beautiful. So the idea, I love this green and this is the colour. It's also just got little seeds on it so I think it would be really nice to, to have the, the hints of colour coming through in amongst the greenery as, as, the, as, the, uh, as the shoots go up. So that's the first one. The second one is a beautiful fig which um, we've only just repotted. We moved it from, it was in a pot and it was getting really tall. So we actually popped it in the ground down there. So it's only just starting to, to grow in its new location. But very, very beautiful. It's, it's quite long. I like the idea of the, the new shoots appearing at the top. So that's an idea that I might use. And then I've popped this in here, partly to hide the barbecue. <laughs> and uh, partly because the idea about this piece is very similar to what I'm going to be doing with the shoes, the garden shoes, and I want these strong verticals. This is the idea of positive optimism and um, the new buds and then these amazing flowers peering out of the greenery. I don't know whether you can see just up over a little bit, but there's an amazing clematis there which just looks like red velvet and um, those are the shapes, the shapes of the flowers, which I, I really like too, so I might use that somewhere. Just coming over here, just past the dinosaur sanctuary, um, is the most amazing pansy in the world. Um, again, velvety with this sort of bright yellow center, and I love the shape of these, they're almost like orchids, so that's, um, the idea of those, and I, I don't actually know what these are called, but these sort of tumble down. I think they're they Lobelia, I don't know, but they're going to sort of possibly the idea of the little purple flowers in there. I'm just going to mention him because he's Gorge and it's uh, Tradescantia, which is just the most incredible. If you look at their light again from outer space with really beautiful little stamens there and and all the pollen the bees love them um, so I really like the idea of having that possibly this is a piece that I did um, actually painted on this table and I'm referencing it here because I like the swirls I use the swirls of the bench and uh, the the idea of a subtle background referenced in neutral tones um, just a hint of what's there but without going into too much detail I think it's important that the foreground is is everything really and then the subtle background is a reference to an idea um, over to the rhubarb patch um, it's all in the forcer at the moment which I'm going to create a new rhubarb piece soon but this is a, a piece that I created using a music score and some really beautiful text in the lyrics of the song so along the stem of the rhubarb with the bright pinks and the new buds there's a bit of a theme developing here and I'm just going to head over this way climbing just passing through the farm here where the lettuces and the beetroot are going uh, and this is the final part which is my amazing hosta um, aka the disco for the birds as they all come and dance underneath the leaves beautiful the heart-shaped leaves and it doesn't really get eaten by slugs which is amazing i don't quite know why that is this piece here this little growing green shoot is where i'm going to begin when i go back to the studio um, i want to start off with drawing one of these because the way that they grow if you look, you can see that the, the leaves are actually going up in different positions, almost like a clock if you looked at it that way, they almost spiral round. Um, I love the way that the little shoots come out from the middle and the idea about it growing up vertically and then it falls over and hangs over the edge of the pot that it's in once it reaches its highest point. So I'm probably going to start with that when I get back to the studio.
Okay, so I've finished doing my sketches in the garden and having a think about my ideas. Really enjoyed it. Feel very in love with green. And I've come back in to have a little think about where I'm going to go next. And I just thought I'd share the different ideas with you. So the first idea really was a bit more formal, based on saffron shoes. So with the flowers on the sole, quite bright colours, and the leaves going up around the, uh, the flip-flops themselves with the collage in the background. So I had the idea that most of the colour on this one would be mainly on the shoes, okay. Idea number two, because, because the text has got a uh, reference to the ba hanging gardens of Babylon, I thought, well, actually, that might be quite nice to have hanging plants coming down uh, with the flowers hidden in amongst and a, a quite a strong vertical feel to that one with the, the, the flowers coming down. So um, that was idea number two. And then idea number three is, is different. It's the vertical. So the idea of the growing from the bottom up, a bit of a stripy type effect. And um, with the, obviously the bright colors of the flowers in amongst the leaves and then secrets hidden in the flowers and the, the petals uh, with also the neutral tones behind. So inspired by things like my uh, garden bench and so on. And the winner is, <laughs> Uh, so I think I'm going to go with number three. Um, basically what I've realised is that I've got so much information that I've just been gathering. Uh, I've, I've realised that I'm doing three paintings currently. Um, in addition to this one, I'm doing a, a piece inspired by washing line, which has got lots of patterns on it, a piece inspired by my friend's shoes, uh, and a piece inspired by the woodland, which is a really expressive garden piece and, uh, taken from a walk that we went on. So I've realised that I'm sort of subconsciously gathering information for those paintings at the same time. So what I'm now going to do is take the information that's relevant um, for this particular piece and then go over to uh, where I'm going to be painting and start doing some colour work. So this is where I'm going to be doing the painting and I've just gathered around me a few pieces that I think are going to be useful to me um, with the sketching before I get going on the actual um, piece itself. I've got to really work out the plan and do my final design before I can actually start on the piece. So this is the the collage that I've actually added. So I showed you that at the beginning and I've come up with a composition where I've placed the collage mainly around the edge. Obviously there's going to be a lot of colour and, and detailing happening in the middle of the shoes so I didn't want to lose a lot of the detailing in the text because the text is so gorgeous. So I, I, I've just sort of left various spaces and in my head I've planned out where it's going to, to go. So that's the, the state of play with the actual final outcome. Um, I've got this piece this little book which I'm going to be referencing the maps in this one. Here I've taken parts of a local map and I've actually added it with a bit of colour and I'm thinking that I might use that just for the centre of a couple of the flowers. This is actually a map of Devon in this piece. The next one here is Secret Garden. Um, just the lovely words in, in the book. And I like the looseness of this. This was a super quick, like two nanosecond sketch um, over the top of the Secret Garden uh, pages. And I like the expressive nature of that. I want to keep it quite fresh and not too, not too developed really in terms of the actual marks that I make with the brush and the color. This next book is collaged with a really gorgeous, I keep coming back to them, I bought a load of, of postcards that were sent from India to the UK and they're handwritten by um, somebody or obviously I think, it, I don't know who they were, I don't know anything about them and they've got really great handwriting and it's so ancient the script that it's barely translatable <laughs> so I keep coming back to those and I'd quite like to use a bit of that text inside some of the flowers or the leaves. I like the idea that you can never really fully understand what, um, the actual meaning of, of those postcards. And then finally this one, because it's just blue and pink, <laughs> and I really like it, and I think something about it, about the sky through, looking through the, the petals and the foliage and seeing the blue background, that's purely kind of why that one's in there. And then I've just gathered 
a few of these stems and I'm going to start uh, working from those and doing a few drawings and, and getting the composition nailed down. So that's where I am at the moment and um, I'm just going to get going and I look forward to seeing you when I've started doing a bit of colour work. Hi and welcome back to the studio. So I want to just give you an update on, on where I've got to with the, the piece and um, it all changed a little bit last night because I got a really lovely message through from somebody um, just on Instagram and it, it just said I really love the butterflies and I thought so do I. <laughs> I really like them too and I thought I'd really actually like to include them. Um, there's something about the idea, the colour, the brightness and I had a bit of a change of plan and I started work quite late last night on another version of the piece and um, I just want to explain a little bit about where I got to with it. So it kind of came from here a little bit. So this is a piece, this is an original, um, it's just about to go off to its new owner. So I uh, wanted to sort of say goodbye to it and also show you aspects of it uh, before it heads off because it's the same family really as, as the piece that I'm going to show you today. Um, the text in the background, the um, the score is the same music score, so it's actually the same song. And the piece is called Fluffy Shoes, and it was a pair of shoes that I found in Switzerland in the most amazing shop in called the Dressing Room in Zug. And um, Gunita, who who owns it, uh, she knows all of the items in the shop like they're her family. So she's got a whole family of coats, jackets and uh, footwear and it's just charming, it's really lovely, it's, it's, it's all very unique and everything's very different and I thought you know that's a sort of starting point for, for the style and keeping it quite loose. Um, so I'd, I'd actually started work on this, this is the piece that I showed you yesterday so when we left off um, this is what I did afterwards and I did the plan which was the growing and um, the, the, the flower shooting up, so talking about this, the, these flowers, uh, the leaves here. And I still really love this, but I think I need to come back to it at a later date because I think it's going to have to include silver leaf, a bit like that one does with the gold leaf. And um, it's going to take me a little bit longer, so I'm going to come back to him, pop him back for a moment. and. So the butterflies were the key and I thought right let's just use the force here and um, make the piece that's in your heart, you know, follow your heart really with this. And so I started work quite late last night on, on a new um, idea and um, I was working, I, I always go back to my sketchbook just to get a kind of clue about what I'm thinking and the idea of the, the, the hanging gardens was was still kind of in my mind and the Love Hearts Cascading, this relates to a woodland walk that we did quite recently and uh, just up the road on one of our hourly walks and these were everywhere, these, these sort of cascading Love Hearts, really beautiful and I like the idea, the green of here, so still sticking with all of that um, and the idea of these little dots, now this is a uh, part of an envelope and I'd realize that the, the butterfly thing and the envelope thing the idea of getting a letter at the moment um, communicating with each other being able to talk is so central and i think this piece is actually a, about my feeling at the moment of communication and and people sending love letters little messages the idea of of, of parceling things up and sending them off to people gifts and so on so in my heart I think I'm really right, uh, creating a little bit of a piece about our, our feeling at the moment and turning over to this page I love the idea of the dots around the side of the heart now I don't know whether you know Madam Butterfly but it, it's quite a dark um, story there's, there's, there's love and passion but it's, it's, it's also quite sad and um, you know it, it's, it's a bit of a sort of double-edged situation, a bit, a bit like our situation at the moment, but I love the idea of these being a bit like a silver lining really and the optimism when we get through it you know we will have lovely beautiful little dotty fun times together again. So me and my envelope thing again um, you know just finding the patterns and working from there. So this 
is a little printout of, of, of where I got to at about midnight last night when we just about ready to eat. I mean, God, we, oops, we didn't eat because um, I was doing my painting. And um, so it, I, I added the hearts, the heart-shaped leaves uh, using the text of the Madam Butterfly and the hanging gardens within the shoes and the shadows, the bright, bright blue, the optimistic blue sky uh, in the background, which I, I really liked. Then the dots. So creating the, 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 sh the, the happy silver lining around the edges just brings them to the fore. I'm gonna add more detailing on there, but that's kind of uh, where I got to with those. And I love it, they're a bit like jewelry, really nice. It relates a bit to Spring Flower Garden as well. It had this sort of, um, this pattern in it as well. And then finally, I added the butterflies. Um, so they are actually on the edge of the flip-flop, so Garden Shoes one. It's a bit like the, the, the chrysalis, the butterfly emerging from the chrysalis and, and all the beautiful um, originality that's, that's happening at the end of all of this. The text in the very background is to do with the silver fritillary butterfly, so it still connects with the silver flip-flops as well, and I'm um, really happy with the idea of it, actually. So, there we are. The piece is over there drying, and I've still got some bits to do, but we're going to put the full image up in a moment. And I'm going to launch the piece um, on Instagram. So I will put the final outcome up on my Instagram feed, which is Kirsten Jones Art. And if you'd like to uh, follow me, you can have a look and see it there first with the full write-up of what uh, the piece is about. Um, and I'm going to offer it at a special price until the end of um, the Chelsea Fringe, which is uh, next week. So you'll be able to order it and buy it at a special price. If you'd like to, you can just message me through Instagram and I can send you a link. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Sorry, that actually is the person coming to collect the painting. So. Okay, hurry up and get it wrapped. Um, I, I hope you've enjoyed watching um, the pieces as they've developed. I've absolutely loved it. It's been really great being able to talk, talk to you and, and share the experience as it's happened. And um, I look forward to doing it again, actually, with more of the, the, the later pieces that I've been talking about. So if you'd like to have a look at more of my videos, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and just get in touch. It'd be really lovely to see some of your gardening shoes and um, send me little messages. I, I really enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching.